Sometimes Brock talks my ear off. And Chris um, doesn't listen to me. <laughs> we'll be in the car and I'll be talking to him. And he'll be like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's not yeah. true. And I'll be like, can you just like give me one other word at least? Okay. And I'm just chatting. <laughs> Meanwhile, most of the time, Chris is like chatting my ear off, and I'm like, I need silent time. You don't even listen to me, honestly. Well, you don't really have a lot to oh, say. Shut up. <laughs> oh yes, my you god. Do. Yeah. You do have a lot I have to say. Too much to say. Too much to say. Hey everyone, I'm Chris. And I'm Brock, and I am back this week. <laughs> <laughs> and so is my mustache. Yes, it is a sexy. <laughs> <laughs> well, first things first, we really wanted to thank you all for the positive response to last week's video, which was, if you haven't seen it yet, Chris's coming out story. Yeah. I personally know that it was very difficult for him to tell the story and you kind of were down a little yeah. bit having to, to relive those moments. And yeah, it kind of knocked me down a little bit. A little bit, but I mean, the, the positivity actually makes me more excited and less nervous to tell my story next week. Yeah, honestly, which is exciting. I'm really excited for that because that's going to be a big deal for Brock to share. It's going to be a little different than Chris's, but I am excited, I think. Yeah, it's going to be good. It honestly is. Yeah, and you know, just to echo Brock's sentiment, I just want to say thank you for everyone who's been so loving and supportive. It really means the world to me. <laughs> it means the world to me, and I know it means the world to the both of us. So, this week's video, kind of following the trend of last week's getting to know us a little better, one of the questions that we get all the time is how we met. Yeah. And so we technically met in person in July of 2011, yeah. but we knew each other through the interwebs. We were connected through Facebook starting in April of 2010. 2010. <laughs> Getting the date specifically. Um, which was through, if you watched the last video, our last video, I talked about Lisa. It was through our mutual friend, Lisa. So Lisa was Chris's best friend in high school, as you know if you watched last week's video, which we <laughs> keep referencing, so watch it if you haven't. And she became my best friend in college when I was at UCLA. She came up to visit me one spring break in college. I was at Berkeley and she was coming up with another friend. And we got to talking about this guy that had become her best friend in UCLA and how she... And it was me. <laughs> it was Brock. And she had a crush on him. Lisa and I actually kissed in college. <laughs> she was talking about how this guy was like the sweetest and he wanted to get into modeling. And I was signed with Ford at the time. And if and you so... don't know, one of Chris's favorite things to talk oh. about is that he used to model. No, it is oh, not. Face like that. <laughs> You're Aww. such a brat. She connected us because she wanted to put him in touch with my agency. She put us in touch via Facebook, and I was obviously out at that time, and I was also in a, a relationship at the time, and you... I was not out at the time. Yeah. So, so you, but I can't talk about it right now because next week is my coming out story, so I can't get too much no, into get, it. Can't give it away. No. But you, but I was excited because this was like a straight guy for me to be best friends with eventually. And I was in a fraternity, so I was like <laughs> just growing out. Just growing out. <laughs> <laughs> what happened was for a year from 2010 to 2011, we just talked via Facebook and then eventually via the phone. On the phone, yeah. probably that was like. Probably about a year later. Yeah, a little, probably, like probably March, April. yeah. It was, I think, almost a year that you called me for the first time while you were out, out partying. I was a little <laughs> tipsy. <laughs> As I was trying to get into modeling, I would like send Chris like, I guess they would be considered like thoughty photos now. They were so scandalous. I, but I enjoyed like them. <laughs> But, I mean, I shouldn't have enjoyed them because I was in a rocky relationship, but also he was cheating on me, so I guess, boo on him. <laughs> <laughs> like Chris said, we started talking on Facebook. So, thank you Facebook for just documenting every single thing ever and not letting you forget anything. We actually have our first exchange of messages documented. So, we're not going to get into that today, but let us know in the comments below if you think we should Read, read them aloud. Read them aloud. <laughs> they are so funny, actually, though. Just the way that... I was very bro -y. Yeah, the way that we talk to each other. And anyways, we're, we're, we're getting off track. So, so that's our video for this week. I mean, honestly, this video is probably just a thank you to Lisa Lee thank for you, Lisa Lee. <laughs> introducing us. But I almost think that, Lisa, you did say that you wanted to marry Brock one day. <laughs> And you know, she wasn't the first girl to say that, but... <laughs> Sorry! <Oops. laughs> 
More on that next week. Yeah. Thank you all for watching. Yeah, thank you all so much, honestly. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel for more videos on the weekly. Please make sure to tune back next week for my coming out story. It's actually, I think, the first time I will have ever really told it. Yeah. And I think there'll be some even like surprises to like my family and friends and there'll be some details that no one's ever really heard except for Chris. So it's kind of a big one. So I'm make so sure to come back for it. Yes, it'll be a good video. Um, all right, well, we hope you all have a great day then, right? Yeah, and until next week. <laughs> Love you. Love you.